Um, welcome uh, again to the uh, uh, One World Combinatorics on Words seminar. Uh, our speaker today is Pierre Adrien Tahé, uh, who's at the uh, Prague Technical University, and uh, he is going to speak to us about column representation of words in cellular automata. So hello everyone and uh, thank you to Manon for giving me the opportunity of this talk. Uh, I will uh, present some uh, results uh, around the construction of words in uh, cellular automata, uh, which is a, a relatively unexplored uh, subject and uh, non-trivial uh, subject. So uh, I start with uh, some definition for formalism and after I uh, give some example, examples to uh, illustrate uh, the objects I, I used. Um, so uh, I start by the definition of uh, one dimensional cellular automaton. Um, it's just a dynamical system uh, with an alphabet in general, uh, we call the fine set uh, alphabet and uh, a map defined on uh, the uh, set a power of d or z uh, to a power of z and defined by a local rule uh, to define uh, uniformly and synchronously the configuration space. Um, First of all, there is uh, an integral called the radius of the CA, and uh, the local rule uh, can be defined uh, by using the uh, radius of the CA, uh, like this. And when you are a cellular automaton uh, with memory D, uh, when D equals one in the classical definition of cellular automaton uh, without memory, um, we define the space-time diagram of the cellular automaton with initial conditions and uh, a sequence uh, inductively defined by the rule of the cellular automaton. And uh, sometimes uh, when we speak about the cellular automaton, uh, we speak about the space type diagram uh, of the cellular. Uh, for example, with the radius r equal once d equals one memory one and uh, an alphabet of uh, two letters, by these uh, very uh, simple rules, uh, phi of a b c equals a plus c mod two. Uh, this means where you are uh, uh, free um, uh, free cells a b c. Uh, you take the, uh, the sum mod two of the two uh, neighbors of the uh, central cell. So you have eight possibilities. And uh, the initial condition just means that you are uh, a black cell and the over cells are white. Uh, black cell represents the one and the white cells represent the zero. And when you start by uh, this first line, you apply the rules and uh, you can construct uh, step by step uh, the rules of the cellular automata. And in this example, we obtain uh, this kind of figure. Uh, it's very famous. Uh, the name of this figure is uh, Sierpersky Triangle. And it just obtained by a cellular automaton with uh, the sum mod 2. And so when uh, you are uh, a cellular uh, automaton, if you denote by uh, zero uh, an element, uh, we say that uh, f, the cellular automaton, is zero question if f of zero z equals uh, zero z. And the configuration is said to be finite if the set of uh, the number of if, if integrals such that xk is uh, non-zero is finite. And in this talk, uh, we will consider the set S of the cellular automata, uh, such that uh, F is a zero question CA and XE is finite. Uh, 
the element of S, in fact, are just uh, the columns of the cellular automaton. Uh, for example, in the uh, previous example with the cellular automata of the sun but two, uh, you are uh, some element of S in the column uh, highlighted uh, in red. So the question is, uh, which infinite sequences uh, belongs to S? Uh, one of the first results um, was given by uh, Fisher in 1965. And Fisher uh, um, construct a cellular automaton to uh, construct the primes uh, in a column. But uh, the cellular automaton of Fisher uh, contained more than uh, 30 uh, to results states. But in 1997, correct uh, simplified the construction of Fisher and obtained a cellular automaton with only 11 states to generate the primes. Uh, in 1999, Mazoy and Terrier uh, give some property of Fisher's constructive function. Uh, it's just um, a function that can uh, obtain in a column of cellular automaton. And for example, uh, constant recursive sequences, polynomial sequences, power sequences. Uh, in 2011, the Lacour, Coupe, Sablik, and Tessier uh, simplified the construction uh, for the squares. Mazoe et Terrier uh, gave a construction for for the squares, uh, but the construction of the La Courbe Sablic and Tessier uh, is uh, a simplified construction. In 2015, uh, Roland and Yasawi established uh, a close connection between uh, the two automatic sequences and the cellular automaton, uh, more precisely, the linear cellular automata, and uh, will be explained after. Uh, and with the result of Roland, Roland and Yasawi, is it possible to construct uh, all Q automatic uh, sequences when uh, Q is the power of prime number in a colon of uh, cellular automata? Uh, in 2018, uh, with uh, Markovici and Stoll, we obtained some construction of non automatic sequences. Uh, we simplified the construction for polynomial sequences. Um, from the construction of the square obtained uh, by uh, De La Cour, Coupé, Sablik, and Tessier. And we obtain a uh, construction of the Fibonacci world, which is an emblematic non automatic sequence. And recently, with uh, Francesco Dolce, we obtain a new result for the construction of Turmian worlds with quadratic slope. In fact, the Fibonacci world is also an example of Trumian world uh, with quadratic slope. Um, but the Trumian uh, character of the, of the world was not used in the construction with uh, Markovici and Stoll, but with Dolce, we, uh, uh, we used the Trumian, uh, the fact that the Fibonacci world is also a Trumian world with quadratic slope uh, to generalize. Um, I will be uh, present. I will present the uh, result of Roland and Yasawi now. So I start by the definition of automatic sequences, but I think everybody uh, know uh, what is it. But um, it's just a, um, a sequence defined by a finite automaton with a sextuple. With a finite set of states, uh, the set of the integer between zero and k minus one, an initial state, a finite alphabet, an output function, and a transition function. And an automatic sequence is just uh, a sequence obtained from a, a finite automaton. For example, the routine Shapiro sequence is a two automatic uh, sequence. Is defined by the number of block one one in the binary representation of n, and uh, we take mod two to have a sequence of uh, zero and one. For example, for n equals uh, fifty five, uh, we have this uh, binary representation, and uh, you can see that there are uh, three block one one, 
a block one one and uh, two block here. So uh, L55 is three mod two is one. And uh, the Rudin Shapiro sequence is generated by the following uh, finite automata. We start by uh, read uh, all the digits of the binary representation of an integer, and uh, we follow the instruction of uh, zero and one according to the, the digits of the number. Uh, this uh, corresponds to the transition function. And uh, when you read the, the last digit, you apply uh, the output function and you read uh, a zero or a one in the bullet. Uh, now I define uh, the uh, linear cellular automata. Uh, when uh, the alphabet is the finite field uh, F2, uh, we say that a cellular automaton uh, on this kind of alphabet is linear if the map F is an F2 linear map. Um, by the theorem of Curtis and Lund Leiden, uh, it just means that a cellular automaton with memory day is linear if uh, you can define the, the rule by um, um, sum of a linear coefficient in the finite fight. And um, uh, relatively all results uh, due to Lito and Dumas say that uh, every colon of linear CA over FP is P automatic. And in uh, 2015, Roland and Yassari established uh, the converse of this statement. And they prove that uh, a sequence of elements in FQ is P automatic if and only if it is a colon of a space size diagram of linear cellular automaton uh, with memory and uh, some uh, condition about uh, on the initial conditions. And this means that when you are a P automatic sequence, uh, you can construct uh, this sequence uh, by a cellular automaton. And you know that. All the colon, in fact, are uh, automatic sequences. Uh, and more precisely, uh, because we have uh, the equivalence uh, between uh, the fact be uh, a P automatic and uh, e to the power of n automatic, the result of Roland and Yasawi uh, extends to all Q automatic sequences, uh, where Q is the power of P. And moreover, the proof of uh, Roland and Yassawi is constructive because they give uh, an explicit method to construct um, um, a cellular automaton to build uh, a given p automatic sequence. And uh, with the methods, you, you are uh, an explicit cellular automaton where uh, the uh, given sequence occurs in a column. Um, the case of the of the construction use the uh, theorem of crystal. We say that uh, a sequence is a Q automatic sequence if and only if uh, the generating function of this sequence is algebraic algebraic over F two. So now. Uh, we can encode the space test diagram of a cellular automaton by a uh, formal theory, uh, more precisely a uh, Laurent theory, where uh, the coefficient a and m represent the cell on row n and colon n. So now, if uh, un is a p automatic sequence of elements in F2, uh, we denote by Ft uh, its generating function. And by the crystal theorem, there exists a non zero polynomial such that uh, P of Tft equals zero. So we denote by P uh, to the power zero one the derivative function of uh, function P uh, according to the uh, second variable. And we have a result. Uh, on the power theory of uh, this uh, 
function um, by calculating the uh, theory uh, of this function we can uncross the space that diagram of cellular automaton where the sequence un occur in the colon minus two is not is not important you are a colon where uh, the sequence un uh, occurs and for example, for the Rudin Shapiro sequence, uh, because it's a two automatic sequence, uh, we can apply the crystal theorem. And so the uh, generating function of the sequence uh, verified uh, P of T F T equals zero for these polynomials. And uh, from these polynomials, uh, with the uh, methods of Roland and Yasawi, we can define the rule of the cellular automaton. So, uh, for the first row, uh, we compute uh, this uh, function to have the, the first uh, uh, term of the uh, error of x. And after, we can uh, compute recursively. Uh, the, the following rows of the cellular automaton. And when you compute uh, the first row, for example, uh, you are in this column with the gray cells, uh, the Rudin Shapiro sequence. Uh, white and gray cells are for zero, and uh, black cells for one. And all the over columns are also uh, two automatic sequences, but we are the sequence uh, of Rudin Shapiro uh, in particular. Um, is it possible to uh, generalize uh, the Rudin Shapiro sequence uh, for a prime number? We can uh, define a sequence uh, recursively like this. A of Pn plus G equals Pn plus Gn mod P. And uh, the first uh, values of the sequence are zero. And this kind of sequences are called uh, generalized Rudin Shapiro sequences. And for the classical Rudin Shapiro sequence, we have this relation R of 2n equals Rn, and H1 plus 1 is. Rn plus one or Rn are according to the parity of n. And so in the following definition with p equal to, in this definition with p equal to, um, we have the same uh, relations that the uh, Rudin Shapiro sequence, and for p equal to, this sequence uh, is in fact the classical Rudin Shapiro uh, sequence. And um, for this family of generalized Rudin Shapiro sequence, we can show that these polynomials uh, satisfies uh, P of TFT equals zero. Um, and with these polynomials, uh, so by the Crystal's theorem, this means that uh, any generalized Rudin Shapiro sequence is a P automatic sequence. And by the theorem of Ron and Yasawi, all the sequences occur in a column of a cellular automaton. And uh, you can uh, compute the rule of the cellular automaton uh, by using uh, this polynomial. For example, for P equals three, uh, I represent uh, in this column uh, the general uh, Rudin Shapiro and the alphabet 0, 1, 2. And so uh, white and gray cells um, correspond to zero, black cells one and white cells uh, correspond to two. And you are uh, the uh, generalized uh, Rudin Shapiro sequence in this code. Uh, now I will speak about uh, non automatic sequences and uh, some results obtained uh, with Markovici and Stoll in uh, 2018. Uh, first, uh, I start about a criterion to show that uh, a sequence is non-automatic. Uh, this criterion is due of uh, at uh, Minsky and Papert. And so if you are an increasing function, 
Miskin papers show that uh, if there are these two limits, uh, the ratio pfx over x is zero and the ratio f n plus one over fn is one, uh, then the uh, characteristic sequence of f is non automatic. For example, if you consider the set of prime numbers, uh, the characteristic function of prime, primes is non automatic. Uh, we use the uh, uh, theorem of prime uh, number of Adamar and Laval et Poussin to uh, uh, compute these limits. And so the sequence uh, of the characteristic of the primes is an example of non automatic sequence, but with the constructions of Fisher and Correct, it's possible to uh, construct a cellular automata uh, when this sequence occurs in a column. Uh, another uh, example is for the polynomial uh, sequences. Uh, you can also apply the Minsky Papert criterion, and it's possible uh, to to show that uh, the characteristic sequence of the polynomial uh, are non-automatic sequences. Um, now I will explain um, the notion of signals. And uh, in the following construction, uh, we use some signal signals to define uh, to define this, the following cellular automaton to build the polynomial sequence and after uh, the Stromian words in uh, the last part. Uh, in a space type diagram of a cellular automaton, you can transmit information by uh, signals. Uh, the notion of signal was used by uh, Mazoye and Terrier in uh, their article of 1999. And uh, with the signals, uh, it's possible to connect uh, two cells and uh, what, by uh, sending a signal from a, a first cell to a second. And we call the slope of the signal, the so number uh, t, uh, t is correspond to the, the time, and uh, m prime minus m, the position. So for example, uh, uh, in black, you have a vertical signal. Uh, in fact, the infinite slope, but we, uh, we call this vertical signal. In red, a signal of slope one. In blue, a signal of slope uh, uh, one over two. And in green, uh, signals of slope uh, minus three. And uh, with Markovici and Stoll, we established uh, uh, this first proposition uh, for an ultimately strictly increasing function. Uh, if this function, the characteristic function of f, is constructed by uh, C a, so this uh, means the function belongs to S, then the summatory sequence, the correct characteristic function of the summatory sequence, also belongs to S. Uh, so this is a characteristic uh, sequence is also constructible by a C. And with this proposition, proposition we establish that for uh, polynomial, uh, the characteristic function of the polynomials belongs to S. Uh, and uh, we can re realize uh, the characteristic sequence uh, by hitting uh, a signal in the column zero of the cellular automaton. Uh, for the polynomial of uh, degree one uh, is clear. Uh, you have just to construct um, a wall. Wall is uh, uh, an over name for vertical uh, signals in the column uh, floor of A over two. And you can compute uh, the polynomial AX, and you can adapt the coefficient B by up and down all the roof of the cellular automata. And now, if we the polynomial of the grade D, um, 
we consider the difference uh, px plus one minus px and this polynomial is a polynomial of degree at most uh, d minus one so we uh, decrease the, the degree and with a positive linking coefficient because uh, we suppose that the uh, n is included in n and uh, we can observe that uh, the difference of pn minus uh, p0 it's the sum of uh, p uh, k plus 1 minus uh, pk between 0 and n minus 1 and now uh, we can apply uh, the proposition the polynomial uh, q and so by induction and with the uh, Proposition: We know that uh, the corrective heuristic function of Q is constructible by CA, and with the proposition, if we uh, can construct uh, the characteristic function of, of Q, we can also construct uh, the characteristic function of P. Uh, for example, for the cubes, uh, when uh, compute the difference between uh, two consecutive cubes. Um, we have a polynomial of degree two, and uh, we can uh, construct the sum, the characteristic function of the sum of this polynomial of degree two. Uh, for example, on the left, you have uh, the construction uh, for the squares. Uh, the rule to define the signal is uh, when a signal of flop one um, hitting a vertical uh, signal, um, we define a new signal of flop minus one and uh, we translate uh, the signal, the vertical signal on uh, one cell on the right. And you continue and you can see that. Uh, this cellular automata, automaton define uh, the squares in the colon uh, zero. And with this construction, uh, we can uh, construct uh, the sum of the squares on the cellular automaton on the right, just by using the proposition uh, for the squares, because we have the construction of the squares we have also a construction of the sum of the square. And it's the same to obtain the construction for the cubes. Uh, we start by the construction of the difference of the cubes on the left. And after uh, we construct the sum of the difference of the cubes on the right, and the sum of the difference of the cubes, it's just the cube. Uh, now, in this uh, last part, I will speak about uh, Sturmian worlds. Uh, Sturmian worlds are infinite worlds over uh, binary alphabet, uh, such that uh, they have exactly n plus one factors of length n for each negative n. Uh, for example, the Fibonacci world. Uh, which is uh, uh, we can define by uh, the unique fixed point of the substitution uh, 0 to 0, 1 and 1 to 0 is a Sturmian world. I think it is a more famous uh, Sturmian world. And uh, now I will explain the link between uh, Sturmian world and a continued fraction expansion. Uh, so I introduce some uh, notation. Uh, if theta is a real number, uh, we define the continued fraction expansion uh, by this coefficient, uh, c0, c1, c2, uh, which has uh, integers. And if theta is a positive irrational, this continued fraction expansion is unique. And if theta is a quadratic irrational, this continued fraction expansion is eventually periodic. This second point is uh, very important 
to establish uh, the result uh, with Francesco Dolce about the construction of uh, the Stormian work of quadratic slope. I will uh, explain after. Uh, for example, the golden ratio is a quadratic irrational number and its continuum fraction at the expansion in the is the fraction expansion with uh, all the coefficients equals to one. And um, now I will uh, define uh, the directive sequence. Uh, when you are a uh, sequence of integer, uh, the directive sequence associated to uh, this uh, sequence of integer is the sequence of finite words defined recursively by uh, w minus one equal one, w zero equals zero, and w n equals uh, w n minus one uh, to the power of the n. Uh, the power is just uh, the concatenation of uh, w n minus one uh, the n times and uh, we concatenate uh, the word uh, w n minus two uh, on the n and uh, and in fact every streaming world can be obtained as a limit of a derivative sequence associated to uh, b1 b2 d3 such that uh, the uh, continued uh, fraction expansion uh, zero d1 plus one d2 d3 is an irrational number with alpha uh, strictly between zero and one and uh, the number alpha is called the slope of the associate associated stromian one and we say that the real number alpha is quadratic is uh, there is a polynomial of the way two such that uh, p of alpha equals zero. Uh, for example, for the Fibonacci world, uh, we can obtain this world uh, as a limit of this uh, derivative sequence associated to the sequence with only one, one, one. Um, in fact, the Fibonacci world uh, is the limit of the sequence Fn and uh, the sequence Fn is just the concatenation of Fn minus one and Fn minus two. And the continued fraction expansion of the corresponding irrational slope is uh, zero, two, and uh, one, one, one. So because you are D1 plus one with the first one, D1 plus one is two and after, or the uh, D, uh, D2, D3, etc. And now um, I will speak about the uh, recent result with uh, Francesco Dolce. Um, we prove that a Strongman world with quadratic slope can be represented as a colon in a space size diagram of a one dimensional cellular automata. Uh, first, we start with this proposition. Um, um, in our article, we establish a construction of um, an integer sequence defined recursively by Sn equals dn Sn minus one plus Sn minus two. And uh, we prove that uh, the characteristic function of this sequence uh, belongs to S. This means that uh, the sequence of the integer Sn uh, is constructible by a C. And uh, if W is a Strumier world uh, obtained as the limit of the directive sequence uh, associated to uh, delta, if we denote Sn uh, the side of the world Wn, we have the relation Sn equal dn Sn minus one plus Sn minus two. This is the reason because uh, we, uh, we have to start by the construction of uh, this uh, integer. Uh, so um, we consider uh, two case, cases. 
the first case is, is when uh, b uh, n plus one equals one. Uh, we suppose that on this row, on the row of rank Sn, you have uh, uh, you have already uh, construct uh, the number Sn minus two, Sn minus one, Sn, and uh, by uh, defining some uh, signals, uh, in fact, it's easy to uh, calculate. Uh, the slope of the signal to have uh, the number uh, Sn minus one, Sn, Sn plus one on the row Sn plus one. And after, by induction, uh, you can uh, restart uh, to define the, the same signal of the same slope to define all the number of the sequence Sn. Um, when Gn plus one is different, uh, of one, it's um, a little bit complicated. So you decompose uh, Sn plus one by using the uh, recursive relation of the sequence in the definition. And we decompose Sn plus one by Sn, then Dn plus one minus one, Sn minus one, then plus one minus one, Sn minus two, and Sn minus one. And for uh, this second case, uh, we need to define uh, alternative uh, row. Or you define the row Sn plus Sn minus one, the row Sn plus Bn, Bn plus one minus one, Sn minus one, the row Bn plus one, Sn, and the row Sn plus one. So you can see that when uh, Bn plus one equals one, uh, this row and this row are the same. This row, this row, and this row are the same. Uh, and uh, the row Sn plus Sn minus one has the same that the row Sn plus one. Is the reason because uh, we need an alternative construction for this case. And we suppose that uh, you have already uh, construct on the row Sn the number Sn minus two, Sn minus one, Sn minus one plus Sn minus two and Sn. And uh, we construct on the zero Sn plus one, the number Sn minus one, you, you add the one of each uh, of Sn minus two plus one is Sn minus one, Sn minus one plus one, Sn. Sn minus one plus Sn minus two and you are and you add one, it's uh, Sn plus Sn minus one and uh, Sn plus one is Sn plus one. And uh, so we have the number on the column and you are also, we have also the number on the row. And uh, the number of the row uh, uh, will be used after uh, to construct the Sturmian rate. In fact, um, the sequence Sn, uh, there was al already a result in the article of Mazoy and Terrier to create uh, this kind of sequences in the column. But the construction of uh, Mazoy and Terrier uh, don't allow to have the, uh, the number of the sequence on the row. And with our construction, uh, it was not possible to have uh, directly uh, the Sturmian world. Uh, or if it's possible, I don't know uh, how. But with this alternative construction of uh, the sequence SN, is it possible to uh, construct uh, the Sturmian world where SN, in fact, is just uh, the size of um, the of the world WN uh, such that the Sturmian world is obtained as a limit of the sequence of the world W. So, if you are uh, an eventually periodic integral sequence uh, and WN the standard sequence associated to uh, delta, 
uh, defined as uh, previously. Uh, then uh, the Strumian world obtained as the limit of the sequence uh, Wn uh, belongs to n. This means that um, the Strumian worlds uh, can occur uh, in a colon of a cellular automata. And the hypothesis of uh, eventually periodic integral uh, is because uh, we suppose that um, um, the slope of the Strumian world is quadratic. And so um, the uh, fraction uh, expansion of the slope is eventually uh, periodic. And it's very important because to define uh, a cellular automaton, we need to have a finite set. And with the uh, uh, hypothesis of the quadratic slope and the eventually periodicity of the coefficient of the uh, continued fraction expansion, uh, we can define uh, a finite set and so uh, define a cellular automaton. Uh, now to, to, to finish, when um, we, in the previous construction, uh, we obtained uh, the size of the world Wn. And by using also the uh, construction on the row of this, um, of these integers, is it possible to uh, define uh, uh, signals of slope one and minus one in order to define uh, uh, vertical signal uh, of type one and vertical signals of uh, type two, and just according to uh, the parity of n. Uh, so in the first case, uh, we uh, to translate uh, the letter A of the cell uh, zero t to the cell zero at this m. We define a signal of slope one. When this signal uh, hitting the vertical signal, we we'll define a signal of slope minus one on the row uh, just above. And uh, in the second case, we define the signal of slope one and where uh, you are in the uh, vertical signal or uh, type two, uh, you define on the same cell, from the same cell, uh, the signal minus one, of slope minus one, to uh, translate uh, the letter. Uh, for example, this is the construction of the Fibonacci numbers. Uh, in fact, the construction, uh, was already obtained uh, with uh, Markovici and Stoll in 2018. Uh, but it's a, a, just a particular case of uh, the result with Francesco Dolce uh, for, um, um, for the sequence of the size of, uh, um, of the world of the directive sequence uh, of all uh, Strumian worlds quadratic slope. And uh, from this construction, uh, with the Fibonacci numbers in the colon and on the rows, is it possible to uh, uh, construct the world in the colon? Um, for example, if we suppose we have uh, already constructed the world W7, um, to obtain the world uh, W8, W8 uh, by definition of the Fibonacci uh, sequence with the direct directive sequence, it's just a concatenation of W7 and W6. And W6 is also the concatenation of W5 and W4. So if you are already constructed uh, W7, uh, we need to uh, construct the world uh, W5 just above and uh, the world uh, W4 ab above this world W5. And for this, we define uh, two worlds, two um, 
vertical sim signals to uh, recopying the letters of the words. And uh, with this uh, word, we can uh, translate uh, the word W5 just above. And with uh, this second uh, word, the second vertical signals, we can translate uh, the word W4 above the word W5. And so now we have uh, constructed the, uh, the following words, W8. And by induction, uh, you can obtain the word W9, W10, and on the limit, you are uh, the Fibonacci word in, uh, in this column. Um, I finish with some open questions. Um, we, we saw that uh, by the result of Roland and Yasawi, is it possible to construct uh, all Q automatic sequences when Q is the power of a prime? Uh, so now a natural question is uh, which k automatic sequences when k is not a prime boron are constructible in a colon of a CA. Uh, for example, we can start by uh, um, searching a construction for six automatic sequence or 10 automatic, I, I don't know. And uh, uh, concerning the Stromian words, uh, we used uh, only uh, the characterization with the slope, and uh, more specifically the quadratic slope, uh, because uh, the eventually periodicity uh, is uh, used to define correctly the cellular automaton. But the Stromian words can also uh, be defined by morphisms. And so a question is, is it possible to generalize uh, our results, uh, for example, or the generalize the result on uh, all the Stromian world, uh, not also Stromian world with quadratic slope, by using uh, a morphic approach? And uh, another question is uh, about the construction of the Embonacci words. We saw that is it possible to uh, construct uh, the Fibonacci words? Uh, we obtained the first construction with Markovici and Stoll uh, only by uh, consideration of the uh, of the sequence uh, itself, and uh, with uh, Francesco Dolce, we uh, are also uh, the same construction, but with the point of view of a uh, Stromian world. And now, a natural generalization is uh, to extend the result of uh, the N Bonacci world. Um, uh, in fact, is it possible to uh, construct uh, the N Bonacci numbers uh, with a result of Mazoyer and Terrier? Um, but uh, to obtain the construction of uh, the Fibonacci words, uh, we, uh, we are not sure the construction of Mazoyeteri for the Fibonacci numbers, but an alternative construction uh, in order to have the Fibonacci numbers in the colon and also on the rows of the cellular automaton. Uh, so the first step maybe is to uh, obtain a, a construction for the Fibonacci numbers in a colon and also on the rows of the cellular automaton. And after, um, maybe um, use this construction for the Embonacci words uh, and um, maybe obtain a, a construction uh, for uh, Fibonacci, for example, it is a natural uh, first uh, approach, but more generally, uh, if there exists. Uh, of the construction for our uh, embo nature. So uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much, Pierre Adrien. Um, does anyone have any questions?
Uh, so has uh, has anyone tried this with uh, Tuplet's words? With? Tuplet's words. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is it exactly? Um, so it's this, uh, these words like um, the paper folding word where you have a pattern with a gap. Uh -huh. so the, for example, paper folding word is defined with the pattern zero gap, one gap. And then you repeat periodically. So zero gap, one gap, zero gap, one gap. And then you recursively fill in the gaps with the same sequence. Uh, okay. Um... I don't try the uh, yet, but uh, I think it's uh, with this kind of approach, maybe it's possible to, to extend, yes, uh, with this method uh, by using the signals method. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the rule for defining them is very simple. It's this very simple recursive rule. So, um, is it possible with, uh, by using some signals and uh, Calculate the uh, good uh, the well uh, slope uh, according to the definition uh, according to the uh, length of the gap, for example. Uh, I think is it possible to to extend this? Yes. Nice. Um, yeah. Any anyone else uh, have a, have a question? Uh, if not. Um, Thank you so much. Uh...